Hi. I didn't always have the luxury of working at home, uh, recording stuff, you know, doing sessions for my clients overseas or locally. I used to head on down to a studio, you know, you know studios, the one, yeah, anyway. They do exist nowadays, you know, far and few in between, but, you know, really great ones. Or back in the 90s and in the year 2000, I was doing a whole lot of sessions. So here are five things that you should not do if you're a session musician. Again, this is a disclaimer. Uh, this is my personal opinion. Um, I've been a session guitarist since uh, back in 1990. So uh, here are the five things that you should not do as a session player. Number one, being late. Uh, this was discussed in, I think this is the first thing that I talk about on the things that you should not do as a gig, as a gigging musician. Never be late. Especially in a studio recording because um, time is money. So uh, never be late for a session. Don't come like really late for a session because they have to pay the money to book the studio and the studio charge by the hour. So uh, don't be late. Come early, in fact. Come really early, like half an hour or you know, or more if you want to. Uh, come down, speak to the engineer, and, uh, and uh, yeah, just get ready for the stuff that you're going to record in that day. Number two, knowing beforehand which instruments you need to bring to the studio. You know, or if you get a call from the producer, you know, ask the producer like, you know, what sorts of guitar that you need uh, to bring down to the studio. I, I do that all the time because, uh, but most of the time I have experienced producers who come and tell me, oh, hey John, I need a 12 string for this. I need a mandolin and you know, I, I need, I need a, a acoustic guitar and electric guitar. You know, I, I, I just wanted some, um, you know, some distortion and solos and stuff like that. Or sometimes they'll be very specific and ask for like, you know, a sitar, for example. So I, I could go on about this, like, you know, that's one of the reasons why I bought the Variax, the Line 6 Variax, because it had so many things in there. And, I, and just because of convenience, I just brought my Variax and my, I used to use the X3, or the HD 500 HD. And, uh, no, the the XT, right? So these are all things I need you know, to bring to the studio. But sometimes they really need the real things, so you have to lug all these things down. And if you're driving, it's fine. But if you're not, you gotta prepare for transport, you know, stuff like that. So you gotta be really be prepared. So always check with the producer what you need to bring down. That's good practice too. Number three, you should not be not maintaining your equipment. So if you get a call and uh, you're supposed to go down to the studio, just like that, like, you know, I get a call this morning, I'm supposed to be in the studio in the afternoon, I'm gonna make sure my gears are working. So you, you have to constantly uh, maintain your equipment, like, you know, your effects and whatnot, you know. Uh, and changing guitar string is pretty fast, so that's, uh, that's okay. You know, making sure your pickup works, you know, your, your cables are working, there's no there's no uh, broken wires or stuff like that, you know, that your batteries, if you're using uh, active pickups, they're changed, you know. And um, yeah, just maintaining your equipment as well as the most important equipment, you yourself. So keep in good health, uh, you know, take care of yourself. You know, if you're a working musician, you need to take care of yourself. So that's something to consider. Number four which is really important. It's about treating the music that you're doing with respect, as well as treating the engineers or the producer with respect. Uh, I've seen players not getting called back um, after one session because of the way they behave. I'm a producer myself, so I've seen some of these musicians that will come in. Uh, well, not all of them, you know, and the bulk of it are really nice cats. You know, They're really cool because they've been in this line for so long, but you get it all one or two. You know, and they come in swaggering with their egos and stuff like that. So that's not cool. So always respect the music. And you know, sometimes you know, on call remarks about the song, like you know, you be playing a a song that you don't like, you know, and you say, "Oh man, this 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 song sucks," you know, and you sing out vocally, and this, and you don't even know whether the songwriter is in the, in the studio or whether the producer himself is a songwriter, and you're just gonna hurt him, and you're not gonna you're not gonna get any call back from him. 
So uh, start to consider, you know, just just keep your opinions to yourself when you're doing a session. Um, always say positive things, you know, even even if it's not positive for you, you know, just keep it, you know. Or don't don't go mouthing your opinions to everyone, including the engineers, because you never know, you never know how close they are. So uh, things to consider, you know, respect the music and respect the producer, respect the engine, respect everyone around you, and they'll respect you too. And also consider the fact in these days of uh, social media, you know, are careful, uh, be careful about uh, taking selfies or videos in the studio because they might not like it. So if you want to do all this, to post in your YouTube videos, ask for permission. And most of the time, they'll be quite delighted to do that because, you know, hey, it's free promo, free promo, right? Free promotions, right? So, but it, that again depends on the producer himself. So it's always good to ask for permission. And last but not least, the fifth one is having a bad attitude in general. Uh, whether whatever happens at home stays at home, you know. Uh, sometimes we, you know, the, the studio is like an office to me uh, back then because I used to go up to the studio every, almost every day. Uh, I get called for sessions for all sorts of music. And, you know, I was married then, so don't bring your, your 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 baggage from your personal life to work, or if possible, leave it in a leave it at home. You know, come to work with a positive attitude. It's all about attitude. So, if you want to get called back again and again, you know, you, you got to maintain that. And if you have a long working relationship with this producer of the guys in the studio, then it's okay. You can actually share with them what you're going through and stuff like that but you know uh, if you're meeting up a new client a new producer you know leave all your struggles and baggages at home so that's it so here are five things these are the five things that you should not be doing in the studio so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do give me a thumbs up and if you like subscribe to this channel so till i see you again arrivederci